we talk about what people need to live, what do we say? We say food, clothing, and shelter. And the world agreed long ago, almost 70 years ago, every nation in the world agreed that people have a right to a house. They have a right to a safe house. But we don't have it in Rochester. Housing is a commodity right now. It means you have to buy your way into your basic human rights. And it's a damn shame. Damn shame. Yeah. Damn shame. Right? We live in a place that we have put profits over people at no consequence to the people that throw our neighbors out of their houses. In the United States, there are 24 empty houses for every homeless person. And in Rochester, there are three to four empty houses for every homeless person. And by the way, that's 500 to 1,000 people every night every in night. the winter with their kids. Yeah. It's a shame. Shame. Yes, it is. And those banks that are throwing us out aren't even doing it legally. If we have all of these empty houses and all of these homeless people, we don't have a housing problem. We have a priorities problem. How did we become the city with the seventh highest child poverty in the country? How did we end up with all of our neighbors out of work? And why do we keep allowing this to happen to each other? That's right. It's a shame. You're a shame. All right, wait, I lost my place. You guys are doing good. Okay, right? Yeah. So, if we have all of these homeless people, how can your kids go to school and learn if they don't have a house to go home to? How can you hold a job if you don't have a house to go home to? Housing affects every aspect of our community. And right now, what's happening is that if you can't pay your mortgage and you get evicted, the police come and they kick you out of your house. And it's time that we go to City Hall and we tell them that they need to work for us, That's that they need point. to advocate for their citizens and stop being the henchmen of banks. That's Am right. I right? Yeah! yeah. That's right, yeah! Right! <laughs> I'm a witness for that too. They can't even took me out of my home. Oh, Absolutely. I was there. Took me out of my home. I was there. And let me tell you what. In Metro Justice, we are asking the city to call a moratorium on foreclosure-related evictions. It's time that the city acts like public servants. It's time that they fight for us. And it's time that we declare that Rochester is an eviction-free zone. Metro Justice! Metro Justice! Metro Justice. Yeah. Let's go tell them! Woo! Fight, fight, fight! Housing is a human right! Fight, fight, fight! Go for clothing! We're taking over! Who did plenty? 
me of drugs yeah. and was fine with beating the shit, I'm going to say it, out of my mother and threatening me. That's the kind of choice people are faced with when housing isn't a human right. So when we are fighting for housing as a human right, what we know, and what's important to realize, is that right now when it's not a human right, what we're told is that the, the profits of landlords, the profits of for-profit uh, commercial apartment buildings are more important than the stability and quality of life of families. We're going to take over some city property. We're not going to actually do it. I'm telling you we're going to do it. We've been challenging the bank to chase Bank of America. But no, you have three, about 3,000 3, abandoned, abandoned properties in the city. We're going to open up at least three of these properties and put some of the people that Ryan just spoke about under the bridges, under, under, under sleeping in the, in the subway. We're going to put some people in the house. Uh, and we're going to challenge you directly. Some of these houses are in good condition. We're going to open them up, take the boards out, put windows in them, get the lights on, the water running, and we're going to put people in the house and we're going to directly challenge you to make more problems for your homes. Start looking at them tomorrow. We're going to find some people to put in these houses, and I challenge you to challenge us. Have a good day. If uh, a foreign army came into our city and forcibly evicted citizens from their homes, uh, no one in the city would stand for it, least of all you guys. Today, uh, it's exactly what big banks uh, like J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America are doing to people in our city every day. Uh, the current policy may seem business as usual, uh, but it is in reality complicity with the most heinous of criminals. Every cop sent to execute these evictions, every officer issuing those orders, and the city council that allows this are accessories to the mass violation of human rights in the city of Rochester. <laughs> Rochester's participation in this criminal operation. No more can Rochester's people afford to be forced from their homes just for the profits of the banks. And whether or not any of us have convinced you, know that we are convinced and we are resolved that these crimes will end. We are resolved that these crimes will end in our city and this is only the beginning. Because you've already shown me that I'm not worth it. Yeah.